Everybody is afraid of death. The question is, of course, why are we afraid of death? But how do we interact with it? What do we, what do, we do with it? If you look at the word of Chazal, of our sages, they quite, their approach was quite different than ours about death. For example, we know the famous uh, statement, Tov Yom HaMavet Miyom Ivaldo, it's better the death day than the birthday, you know, and so on and so forth, or, you know. Or when Chazal tells us, uh, better to go to a mourner's house than to go to a party house, uh, they didn't seem so afraid to deal with death, and as a matter of fact, they used it in a very productive manner, different than us. Recently, I was driving, and I came across a cemetery. And always when I drive by a cemetery, you know, different ideas come to my head. One idea was that, uh, you know, a lot of people are there. They all have their own principles and their own ideas and all ideals and what they were fighting for and what they thought was right and what was important to them. And at the end of the day, it's not important. You know, you take your important things with you somewhere else. So were the things really important? Were your ideals and morals so important? It didn't seem to share them with so many people anyway. And then I was thinking about when you go to somebody's funeral and you hear the eulogies, and what people say about you, about eulogies, and so on and so forth, and how many really people, first of all, really care? Let's admit it, how many people really care? Well, what they say about you, and you come up with the stories about the deceased, and so on and so forth, and I was thinking about something else that we do. If you look at ads that people do, usually today is for lawyers when they put it on, when you know, for for a uh, for the will or something like this, is your obituary. You know, how do you summarize somebody's life into four or five lines in the obituary about what this person was and, and so on and so forth? What do you write on his tombstone, if anything? And, and then I say, well, why wait until you're dead to write your obituary? And I said, Maybe it's a good thing to do. Maybe it's something that we should all try to do. And not to be obsessed with death, but on the contrary, actually give some value to life. If you would have some time for yourself without any distraction around you, when it's, uh, let's say, for example, late at night or something like this, nobody is around you, and you needed to write your obituary, and try to summarize really who you are and what you were in four or five lines. What would you say about yourself? What would you say about who you were and what you did? How do you summarize your life in four or five lines? I mean, it seems like people do that, but what would you say about yourself? And I would therefore encourage you, when you find this alone moment, don't delay it, but find this alone moment, and instead of looking at your telephone, which is really pointless, and looking at all your imaginary friends that you have on all those social media that are not your friends, just a make-believe kind of a thing, why wouldn't you write your own obituary about who you were, or who would you like to say you were, at the time of your departure from this world. Try to summarize you in four or five lines. And take a very good look at what you wrote about yourself. And take this paper and throw it away and start living your life 
according to what you wrote about who you are and what you were. Have a nice day.